go from the top team in the East over to the top team in the West. Tuesday, Kevin Durant was wow, wow, West. for the fourth time this season. Post game, he said the official that tossed him, James Williams, was targeting him. He went to halftime probably with an attitude. So second half, his whole thing was like he's trying to get me. So look at my first tech. I got the rebound and I dribbled the ball hard and he he teched me up. He was searching for me. He looking he looking he looking to try to take me up to get me back because he's still in his feelings from the first half. That's what's been going on around the league the whole year. It's a bunch of that. That word searching gets me every time. Uh, earlier today, he did apologize. He said he was quote being a jerk last night and he deserves whatever the league is going to throw at him. It's another ref player story we have on our hands. Jalen, your reaction to him saying the ref was trying to get him. I agree with KD's reaction today, not his reaction last night, because when an official makes a call and you bounce the ball in a demonstrative manner, you're showing him up. And when you show up an official, guess what they do? Mm. Call technical fouls. This can become an issue for the Golden State Warriors because let me tell you somebody that you don't want to be against your squad, the officiating crew. Because there are a lot of judgment calls that happen in the NBA, and like in baseball, they say tie goes to the runner, that you won't get the benefit of. For example, the carry call that they made on KD, that happens to players all of the time, but they don't get called for it. He got called for it. So they have to be very careful as a squad to not to upset the officials. Guys, Draymond Green said every referee should be fired. I mean, that's insane. KD oh, has been, been chewing on guys' ears all, the, all season long. KD is right. He is being targeted because he's made himself a target. Mm -hmm. he, he, the way he can fix this, and it may not be the correct thing to do, it may not be the fairest thing to do, he's got to pipe down to reduce his reputation because right now, this reminds me of when Paul was on the Clippers. Uh -oh. they were so, <laughs> the referees were so sick of hearing from Chris Paul and Doc and everybody else on that team that as soon as they walked, as soon as they looked at their schedule and said, Oh, I got the Clippers next week. They're getting oh, ready to yeah. call Tex. And that's what's happening now to the Warriors. Four. Four I think it's such an emotional game. You should allow the players to react. You know, if you don't, if you don't react just toward the referees, like that with KD, he reacted toward the ref. But you got to understand, players play with emotion. They play with passion. You know, there's times if you don't feel like a, a call is going your way, you may be like, man, you know, you like, you should be able to well, react. And I think, I think the ref, does he get to have passion? Are penalizing emotion? these guys. They're, they're not in the middle of a battle. They're not in the middle of the war. Sounds they just got to control it. You know, this is emotional. Guys want to win every night. So, you know, you're in a game, four games and five nights or two and three, whatever. You're tired. It's emotional. You're trying to grind out a win. You got to allow the players to be more passionate. And I just think they're taking that away from the game. As long as it's not very demonstrative toward the refereeing. Toward, toward the ref, like if I'm coming at you like That's this. That's fine, I get, yeah. But if I react to something, But if just you're complaining know, on every single call, like there's I, I never agree. been a call where one guy was like, yeah, I did it. I agree, I agree. If you that complain would on old. every call, if I was a ref, I would be sick of it too. All and also time. one of the major things is that people complain on calls when they're obviously got the call right. Right. Yeah. That's a, a problem. That's you're a problem. complaining to me, like and I clearly now. know that you followed the guy. <laughs> now I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Right. I think a lot of this, too, like, what about those reports that come out the next day? Oh, that wasn't a foul. Oh, we should have made the – Giannis stepped out of bounds, but we missed it. You know, so it goes both ways. You know, the players see that, and they don't – like, I would hate to see that. Like, oh, I didn't foul him the next day, and it cost well, us that the is, game. Yeah. And so that's – they got to find a middle ground. Harrison Barnes, 